people in getting it out. Got one! Look at that, right off the bat. Oh, okay. They love this pattern. Hi, Peter Charles here, folks for Life, Fly Fishing. And today, let's tie a little tiny streamer, similar to my mini series, that I've had in my fly box for the better part of 30 years. Uh, every time I'm going pan fishing, I'm gonna have something like this. Uh, I've tied it in a variety of fashions, but it's basically the same fly uh, with just a couple of minor variations. And I have made some small improvements to it over the years that make it fish more effectively. Uh, before we get started, let's take a moment and look at a little bit of footage of me going out pan fishing, uh, seeing if I can get uh, a sunfish on my sunfish delight. And we'll see how that turned out. Okay, I hook one immediately, uh, and the water was very turbid that day. Uh, we had thunderstorms go through, so the water's much muddier than I would normally fish it. Uh, but nevertheless, we were getting some crappies that were hitting it, which worked out quite good. And here's a, another one, all coming from basically the same area. This one hit just as I was starting to pick up uh, the line, and he was a little bit smaller. Uh, they were all about the same size. Uh, I was out with my grandson earlier, and he picked up a really nice sized crappie out of here. Uh, I got a bunch of sunfish. Today, the sunfish weren't out to play, but the crappies were, which was fine. So I got a few more after this, but uh, uh, that's basically the idea, is to show you uh, uh, what it looked like. Yeah, simple fishing, just on a dock with a fly box and uh, a pair of forceps and a bit of tippet, just in case I broke something off. And away I went and, you know, caught a bunch of fish, even despite the fact the water conditions weren't the best. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a lot of fun to fish these uh, patterns, uh, especially on a simple rod. Uh, you know, a uh, two-weight, three-weight, four-weight will do. Any one of those rods will cast it. Uh, and, uh, you know, just get out there and have a bit of fun. Uh, it, it uncomplicates the fishing, really. I mean, sometimes you just don't want to get all geared up and fly boxes and vest, blah, 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 blah. Uh, just keep it simple. Go out there and catch some f fish. Also great when you've got some kids or grandkids with you. Uh, you can catch some fish and they can catch fish on spinning rods and everything's cool. You have a good day. And, you know, it's keeping it simple. So on that score, let's start with the fly. It's called the Sunfish Delight. Uh, I could come up with a better name. I'm bad with names. The hook is kind of unique. It's a... a, a Daiichi 1740 in a size 10. And you'll notice here that it has an up eye. That's one of the improvements I made to this. I went away from the down eye. This is an up eye hook, but it's basically a standard shank, uh, extra long, but standard gauge shank. Um, and it tracks very well. It rides fairly level, especially when you put a little bead in the front. And the other good thing is that it does penetrate a little bit better. It gets a little deeper than something tied on a regular hook. So uh, I find it, it fishes a little bit better, and I really like these Daiichi 1740s. I use them a lot. In fact, <laughs> I've run out. Uh, the thread is going to be this Viva's Black in a, a 16. Um, I want to go thin with the thread here. I don't want to get build up too much bulk. The body is Mylar uh, Gold Silver, and we're going to use the gold, uh, sorry, the silver side. Uh, the wing and the tail are made out of this uh, dyed mallard. Uh, it's olive dyed mallard, and we're going to use uh, red for the throat. That's red schlop on our saddle hackle, doesn't matter which. Just need some red on it, panfish like red. So let's just get my thread started. Now we'll tie on the tail, and I don't mind if this splays. Uh, I like it if it actually splays a little bit. You know, when we're talking about tying on with mallard, we often like very neat mallard tails and wings and what have you. But I'm more of the idea that if they, they splay, they're actually a better uh, a fish catcher because you get more movement out of them. And now we'll put on our mylar. Keep the mylar and the tail together. Work your thread back. And don't get too fancy with this. It's a, it's a panfish fly. We don't have to make it beautiful. Unless you want to. Uh, 
Okay, now for our mylar. Make sure you cover the black completely. Yeah, I got some gaps there. Let's back up. Okay, now for our wing, we're going to keep it about half the length, uh, half the way down the tail. As I said earlier in on my other flies, don't make this too bulky. Uh, I don't mind if it splays a little bit. Remember, uh, sunfish don't have large mouths, so if you uh, use a, a, a fly that's very bulky, they might shy away from it thinking they won't be able to read it. I mean, they're only going to hit something that they think they can swallow. Clean that up behind the uh, uh, the bead. Don't be afraid to bulk up behind the bead. You don't want the bead moving while you're fishing this fly. So we've got a, a few strays in there. I'll see if I can trap them. Okay, now for the throat. This is not big. This is just to give it a little splash of color. There we go. And you see I'm keeping the profile fairly narrow, fairly slim. If you see if anything's moved, give it a little twist. Okay, now we can whip finish. And we can apply a little head cement behind the uh, bead just to keep everything in place. Sunfish have little teeth, so if you don't use some head cement, you're going to find that uh, they do rip it up a little bit. I mean, you stick your finger in the mouth of a large sunfish and you'll find out very quickly that they have more, uh, sharper, bigger teeth for the size of the fish compared to a, a bass. We don't think of sunfish teeth, but if you don't put a little bit of head cement on that, they will rip it up and uh, it'll start to come apart on you. So there's our sunfish delight. You notice the profile is slender. Uh, it's not flared up too much. I'm letting the um, mallard, you know, be kind of sparse and also uh, I, I like it to splay. It gives it better movement. Uh, by keeping it uh, in this sort of sh general shape, you can see it's quite thin looking this way. It helps to penetrate and uh, it, you can move the fly quite slowly and with the up eye and the bead, it'll stay fairly level, it'll look natural. And it'll do quite well. I've had fantastic days at perch. If you want to have a perch fry, <laughs> use this one on the sinking line. Man, will you pick up a lot of fish. I've had 30, 40 perch days with th this fly or a fly very similar to it. So give it a try, the Sunfish Delight. If you want to go from panfish, go out with the kids or your grandkids and just have a nice day and uncomplicate things. So cheers, give it a try. Got him. Come out here. Oh.